everyone. So I'm doing this video to tell you about this wretch I used to work with and what she did. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm Raji Narayan Singh, transgender activist, actress, spiritualist, author, show host, board member on the board of directors of Trans Social and Reality TV Personality. Yeah, I know I'm a lot of things. <laughs> on a serious note, the employment situation discrimination for trans people is really high. I mean, it's gotten a little better now depending on where you are, uh, but honey, it's still tough. And when you want to talk about tough, let's go back in the day. Oh my God, it was so hard for a trans person to get work. I remember this company that I did start working at. I won't say their name because I don't want to throw them under the bus. Precision Response Corporation, PRC. I was so thankful to, you know, get a job. You know, I was just thankful for that. But honey, boy, did they put me through hell. I mean, they were so mean to me. People were just not nice. And the, the higher ups were uncomfortable with me using the bathroom. So many a day, I would have to sit at my desk for eight hours holding my urine with my bladder about to bust. I'd go in the lunchroom for lunch. I'd walk in and everyone would stop eating and talking and stare at me and laugh and, you know, say different, make different negative comments, really going out of their way to make me feel uncomfortable there. So one day I wore this hairstyle where what I did is I mixed in like some weave, some, some like fake hair with my natural uh, wavy Indian hair. And so I just did it to make my hair fuller. I walked in and some of those bees like to lose their mind. Okay. Oh, they couldn't believe that it's really, it's hair. <laughs> that I had that type of natural hair. And they couldn't believe that it has such full hair. Like half of them, or actually more than half of them, probably 80% of them wore weaves anyway and wigs and all of that. So I'm on the phone with a customer and this wretch that I worked with, oh, she walks over and takes her two paws and starts rooting through my hair to like look for the tracks, you know, to see if there's fake hair mixed in. I wish that wretch would do that now. I would rip all of her weave out of her head. You know, and she knew she could get away with that crap. I was so broken back in those days. I was getting so much hate. People were pouncing on me from all different directions. I was just broken. And you know, that oftentimes happens when someone's down and out, that's when people want to pounce on them the most. So anyway, let me calm down. Because I felt like a sheep in a wolf's den. That's how I felt. <sighs> Calm down, Rashi. I'm just having a little bit of a flashback, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'm thankful to God that there were people that I worked with that were in my corner. No, let me rephrase that. I'm thankful to God that there were real ones, people that were really in my corner because I had some fake asses that pretended to be in my corner, smiling in my face. Meanwhile, they're stabbing me in the back with a 12-inch knife. Carla. Uh, and you know what I'm really, really thankful for? God has blessed me to bring me so far from those days. I've come such a long way, and I am so grateful to God for that. I'm grateful that I have more love for myself, that I have more self-esteem for myself. And you know what I know for sure today is that I did not deserve half the crap that those people did to me. But they say, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Oh, dear Lord, I pray. So on that note, I want to wish everyone love, happiness, peace, good health, prosperity, and many wonderful blessings. Bye!